Alrighty guys, so we're gonna go over my first impressions of Ito. So far, he's really fun. I very much enjoy him, and I've only been playing for a few hours now, and I'm having a great time. I'll go over uh, the details of this kit, what I experienced out on the way, and some problems that I found, some positives I found, all the stuff. Let's jump into it. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check out his test run. All right, test running Ito. So what they gave him? Damn, he's tall AF, dude. He's so tall. Man's a freaking legend. He's got red harm in, in his thing. Got 71-172. That's some crazy stats for a defense, right? He's got the four-piece defense set, C0, and talent 888. So this looks like it's gonna be a pretty good, a pretty good estimation of what you can get him, C0, R1. Go check it out. Well, that's his elemental skill. So it doesn't do any damage after the initial hit, so there's, you can pop it whenever you want. It's not like a passive thing. And it doesn't do it in a second you blow up here. All right, so let's do elemental burst, elemental skill, and then auto attack in. I guess we want to charge attack, right? Then we just auto attack. So his elemental burst, these are auto attacks, and then you hit charge attack, and then you do four big swings, kind of like the Luke would do in his charge attack. And then, like, so it's like a womp, 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 womp thing at the end. Elemental burst, right? One, two, three, four. What's our stats at right now? You get 3,200. So the full attack transfer makes his attack go up by like 1,000 because of the talent level. His talent level for this, for the transfer, is giving attack based off 92% of his defense. So he had 1,000 attack before, and now he's gotten, I guess, I guess 2,000 then. Um, from defense, right? All right, so we've kept him off field. Now we're gonna have max stacks. So max stacks, bam, elemental skill. Damn, this is complicated AF. This is probably one of the more complicated attack rotations I've ever seen. So it looks like a charge attack on the fourth hit is hitting just as fast as your last animation charge attack. So what that means to me is you wanna like try to spam your charge attacks. So Ito is not so much a normal attack dealer. He's pretty much as much charge attack as you possibly can. So if there was like a Wanderer troop for fucking Geo, then that would be the way, right? So the charge attack is essentially double the normal attack from what I can tell. And uh, if you fuck up the uh, the whole rotation, you get a 154 charge attack, which is the spin move charge attack you see sometimes. So that's tricky. And the elemental skill is based on your attack percentage. So if you're going to be ulting, you definitely want to get the attack percentage bonus from your ultimate first. So you want to do Q first on Ito and then pop elemental skill because that's based on the attack percentage you have. And normally he only has 1100 right so if you don't have any stacks or whatever and you throw out your elemental skill it does like 10k and we pop the ulti and then uh, yeah it's like 33k so it makes a big difference to to make to wait for the elemental skill afterward you should probably only cast you should only keep pass elemental skill afterward after the ulti so he's definitely more complex than like most characters. He's probably as complex as like Razor is for attack rotations to try to figure out when the elemental scale timing is, how, making sure that you keep the uh, the stacks of your artifact set up from the Husk of the Opulent Dreams. Now, what I can tell here is that Ito only has 135% in this test here. So what we're gonna have to see is how well the energy recharge scales with this kit to see how much ER you're gonna need in order to keep the elemental burst up. So. I think what's funny about Ezo is that he's going to need a lot more energy recharge than people think. And I think, I hope Goru and other characters are going to make it so that your ER gains are high enough to keep your ulti up 100% because you definitely need your ulti up with Ito but to actually use him. You can't use him like almost at all if he doesn't have his ulti up. So he's like basically a Zhao. If he doesn't have his ulti, he's useless. All right, so for Ito, on artifacts because we got shafted on the banner uh we don't have the weapon so we have defender's will but or we, not, we have the white line we're trying with the r5 white line unfortunately 
I do have two other defense pieces, but they don't really have crit rolls on them. And the one has a crit chance main stat, but I don't have a crit damage head piece because I never got one. And I never got a Geo onset goblet. So because I don't have any good artifacts for Ito, we gotta use a two set defense bonus here. And we're gonna go, and I, I'm gonna test this with 130 ER. And I wanna see what the, the ER rotations are like with Ito inside of Abyss. And what we'll do is, I guess we can also use it with Raiden Shogun to see like how Ito and Raiden Shogun kind of play together. D zero. Okay. What is Ito like with Defender's Will here? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and ulti on Goru. Damn, what the fuck? I don't even have the force set on? What? All right, let's get our energy back. That's without the force set? Let's go, let's go, let's go over some, let's go to like uh, the animo domain real quick. Uh... Okay, so what we'll do with Goru, we get the stacks, 3,200. We then pop the ulti. And now, <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, Ito's a fucking Hu Tao. What happened, bro? <laughs> And that's not even with the four piece Geo set, cause you can get even more on that. Holy shit. Holy shit. Yeah, the ER, 130 ER with three Geo, not bad. Yeah. Not bad at all. Here, let's do this and then this. How much you got? For the glory of the thumbnail. <laughs> All right, so we're trying it with four piece defender, uh, four piece of the new set with under 100% C damage. Okay. What? It's still good? I don't know if it's as good, but I mean, that's not bad. We have a 77-78 ratio right now. What the fuck? How is this doing that? That's doing the same damage or more. I need that. All right, there we go. With just E. Wow. How is that doing good damage? That makes no sense. He has 77 crit damage. I mean, I mean like what? What? Excuse you? 
Wow, proof that defense is better than fucking C damage. Wow, that's uh, that's a crazy fucking thing to learn. Jesus. So Ito has um, a big problem in his kit. And this part of the problem is for weapons, essentially. So whenever you ultimate on Ito, you get elemental and physical resistances lowered by 20%. And what that's going to do is it's going to make one of the weapons that a lot of people want to use on Ito a little bit more problematic. The main weapon I'm talking about is going to be the battle pass weapon, the Serpent Spine. I don't have that on my um, Aisha server account and I wasn't going to make it because I didn't get any crit damage artifacts. So it didn't matter anyways. But essentially with this weapon, you're taking an extra... If you're going to use this weapon at Refine 1, at maximum stacks, you're taking an extra 15% damage. So that 15% damage is multiplicative with Resistance Shred. So it's going to be 15% times the 20%, not just an additive amount. And that's through shields. So this weapon is kind of problematic for shields. So your shield must be... Got, has that got to be really freaking beefy on Zhang Li. Now you get an extra 35% shield strength because of Geo Resonance and everything, but this weapon is definitely a uh, an asterisk weapon in my book. The caveat to that, of course, is that you get a ridiculous amount of defense on Ito. So if you're using the Serpent Spine, you'll have like roughly 3k defense with the new artifact set. So you could have enough damage reduction to make up for it. And that might be okay. But again, 38% damage is a lot to take. So that's, that's a big one. All right, so the counterpoint is just dodge, right? So the only time that you can really dodge on Ito effectively, right around this part of the sequence, where you drop everything, right? And now we're on charge attack sequence, so once we finish that, now we can start dodging if we need to. But in your middle charge attack sequence, you can try dodging afterward, but you just you lose too much time. If you try dodging. Every time I try dodging in a charge attack sequence, you can lose the stacks on the last superlative super strength. So you can see I was just going for the big hit at the end there. So if I start the animation and then end the animation, I lose the, the superlative super strength stack. So that's the major problem with dodging on Ito. You can't dodge on your last hit. And anytime you're dodging in the middle of your rotation, you can screw yourself over pretty massively. So let's go ahead and start doing our charge attack sequence here. And then now I'm gonna do a normal attack sequence. One, two, three. And then I'm gonna start dodge that. You get that. So you retain the uh, the attacks, but the way that your passive works is I think you lose the stacks for your charge attack. Not dodging is a big problem for the character. So I think that the, the counterpoint of just dodge bro is not gonna work out for him because of the way the passive kind of scales with him. I haven't done enough testing to like figure this out, but the way that his first passive works is that whenever you're using your charge attacks in sequence, each slash is then, uh, that's connected to the next slash is going to increase the attack speed by 10%. So while you're charge attacking, you can then cycle and increase your attack speed by 10% per just charge attacks and then ramp that. But it starts at zero, goes up to 30, right? And seeing how you can cancel your last hit, there's other problems with it. I don't think the idea of dodging on Ito is going to work too helpful. So I think that you're just going to be stuck with the full send experience. And if you don't have a good shield, you're going to be problematic. So Serpent Spine is probably not a big recommended weapon unless you have like a 50,000 HP Zhongli that's crowned. All right. So a lot of people are going to talk about attack speed regarding Ito. Now, Ito has two different things for attack speed. The first thing Ito has for attack speed is from his actual ultimate ability. It says attack speed bonus. Now don't get fooled by this. This is actually just for normal attack speed. It is not directly for both attack speeds. There are two different type of attack speed modifiers. We're actually looking through this for quite a while on Twitch. And this attack speed on his talent one passive is actually for his charge attack. When Arataki Ito used consecutive Arataki Kesaragi, which is actually the name of his charge attack, it is the, the charge attack spam that you use, that is what gets increased in speed, okay? This is a charge attack speed increase, and this is a normal attack speed increase. They don't stack, so he only gets 0 to 30%. 
And I was actually looking through a bunch of different things in the game that actually boost attack speed. Chung Young is a character that is going to get a boost uh, normal attack speed. Uh, and the only other character that you can use for attack speed will actually boost both is going to be Jean. And Jean on Constellation 2 will actually boost any type of attack speed. It doesn't actually specialize, uh, say which one it is. So I assume this is probably just normal attack speed, but it could be charge attack speed too, but we do not know. Um, and I'll have to test on my whale account later. And uh, if you're wondering about the other thing that could increase attack speed, it would be the Song of Broken Pines. And the Song of Broken Pines is again, normal attack speed. It is not charge attack speed. It will not boost the speed of the Kessaragari slashes. All right, so for talents for Ito, a lot of people have been asking me what the best talents are for him and which ones you should go for. Now, the best way to think of Ito is just think of him exactly like Hu Tao. Hu Tao on elemental skill will scale up on damage and her whole, her whole kit will improve based on her elemental skill. The same is true for Ito on his elemental burst. So if you wanted more damage for your entire kit, consider them to be about the same. The difference is the elemental skill is now the nuke, whereas on Hu Tao, the elemental burst is the nuke. So if you wanted to make a higher nuke damage, you would boost out the elemental burst, uh, skill. And if you want bigger charge attack damage, then you, of course, build out the charge attack and normal attack damage from Ito. So that's the best way for talents to focus on him. So the way that elemental burst works on Ito, Ito is going to gain a total of 92% or increasing by like 5% or 5.5% per level uh, defense uh, attack percentage from his defense. If you have um, 3,000 defense as you start the fight, then you are going to get 3,000 times 92% of your defense or whatever the, the scale is, attack transferred. And no matter how much your defense goes up or down after that point, you will get that flat amount of defense to your attack. And that will not change. That is a full snapshot. However, any type of dynamic damage that you add to Ito will actually boost out normal attacks or elemental skill. This can be added through other attack mediums like Bennett's ultimate uh, that you can add in. You can out, you boot, use anything that boosts normal and charge attack that you can add in. So let's say using a weapon like Freedom Sword. Yeah, the Freedom Sword. If you were to use, say, a Freedom Sword on Albedo and getting procs on Albedo off field and then use that on Albedo to boost the damage for normal charge attack for Ito, that would add into his damage where both the attack percentage would add into what he has as well as other things. Also, let's just say for argument's sake, you had a uh, 48% um from the defense as you pop your ultimate and then your ultimate fell off uh, your ult your passive stacks from the white line fell off you could build back up the attack percentage portion of the stacks as you auto attack so no matter what you're still getting the maximum stacks of the white blind and the maximum transfer of the white blind to your ito so even as long as the defense part of it snapshot it. Final thoughts on my first day of Ito for the first time I'm trying him out. He's insane. He's really good for free to play. I don't really recommend him hard if you don't have Zhang Li. Having the shield that Zhang Li provides is such a valuable shield for his attack rotation because his attack rotation is super long. If you don't have Zhang Li, it might not be the best way to go for. You need a really long shield to run with Ito. You could potentially maybe run it with Toma. You could try it with Tank Fei, but I'm not sure how that's going to work out. Um, it could work with those characters, but I, I found I don't have a lot of characters to test with on my first day of playing the character on my Battle Pass Welcome account. I'll do some more testing and we'll do another Ito video following this to go over some more Ito things and min maxing what the best are, all that stuff. And we'll do a weapon showcase and, of course, weapon tier list. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video, though. My name is Sekabogo. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, of course, like, subscribe, all the fun stuff. It gets a wonderful rest of your day.